Find the line integral of f of xy equals x minus y plus 3 along the curve, r of t equals cosine t i plus sine of t j, where t is between 0 and 2 pi. So my curve is just the unit circle, and now I'm asked to find the line integral over that unit circle. So I start off with this. And first up, I need to convert this to an integral on the variable t. So I can go on and make the substitution. I know I'll be integrating from 0 to 2 pi. And I plug x in for x and y in for y. And so I would have cosine t minus sine t plus 3. And here I need to remember that I'm going to need to plug in the speed with respect to t. And then my final integral will be with respect to t. So let's find the velocity vector so that I can then find what to plug in here for speed. Well, we've done this before, so it's probably not too big of a surprise what's gonna happen here. And the speed is one. So the reason I wanted to go on and make a big production of this is we can't forget this step in this first example. It does work out that the speed is equal to one, but of course that's not always going to happen. So we can't forget that ds gets replaced with speed dt. All right, but now we do have a pretty straightforward integration problem. just finding an antiderivative for each term and evaluating from 0 to 2 pi. Let's see, 0, 1, 6 pi minus 0, 1, and 0. So just a, a 1 there, and I just get 6 times pi. Not too hard of a problem, but I think it's more interesting to think about what we actually evaluate here, what this 6 pi actually represents. Uh, I have a plane curve that is the unit circle, and so that, that's pretty boring. So there's my z-axis, an x-axis, and a y-axis. All right, so the unit circle in the plane is my curve. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to think about what this function would look like. Well, that's z equals x minus y plus 3. That's the equation of a plane in space. And so in the y direction, if I let x be 0, so in the z, y plane, it would look like a line that did that. In the z, x plane, so let y be 0, uh, let's see, that's going to be y equals x plus 3, so it's kind of tilted now back like this. So, so I understand the plane I'm dealing with is slanted kind of like that, probably not the best representation ever. But what I, I understand now is if I think about my unit circle drawn in the plane, um, that the z's on this side are lower than the z's on that back side that's further away. And so, in some way, I can imagine that I could plot z's that go up and hit that wall, and they're short in some places, and then they rise up to hit that plane. So, I could imagine a cylinder getting cut by that slanted plane, and so I end up with a curved wall around that circle. And so, maybe like a very oddly shaped arena with a, a plane roof. So... Not the best picture in the world, but there's the slant plane cutting through that cone. And so what we actually just did is we found the area of that curved wall, that circular wall around that cylinder that's kind of high in the back and low in the front. The area is 6 pi square units.